My name is Paul Cohen, and I am an aspiring anti-racist. I'm an aspiring anti-racist because this is what God demands of me. To be an anti-racist, to practice anti-racism, is to aspire to dismantle systems of oppression. In Deuteronomy, we read, Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdof, Justice, Justice, shalt thou pursue. The word pursue means that we have to actively engage with justice in our world, that it's not enough to follow the rules, to obey the law. We have to pursue justice in every way that we can. In looking at this particular verse, the rabbis focus not only on the idea of what it means to pursue, but the repetition of the word tzedek, justice. That we are to pursue justice whether it's to our benefit or not. We are to pursue justice as a constant engagement. Justice is not something that we arrive at. Justice is something that we continue to do. That is what it means to be an anti-racist, to continue to pursue justice for all, to dismantle the systems in which racism is embedded, to rebuild them better in education, criminal justice, health care. This is what it means to be an anti-racist. Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdof. Justice, justice shalt thou pursue. I'm sharing this message with you and creating it on Tisha B'Av, the ninth of the Hebrew month of Av. It is on this day that Jews around the world and throughout the centuries have mourned the destruction of the first and second temples in Jerusalem, first in 586 before the Common Era and then the second temple in the year 70 of the Common Era. Our sages of blessed memory tell us that the first temple was destroyed because Jews did not live their lives lifanim mishurat hadin, above and beyond the letter of the law. You see, the people of the day felt that because they were punctilious in their observance of the mitzvot, that they were doing all that was required. No. God demands of us, and we need to demand of ourselves to go beyond the letter of the law, to not play with the law, with semantics, but to really engage with what is right. To practice tzedek, mishpat tzedek, to practice justice, true justice in our lives. The people at the time of the first temple were not engaged in such action. They lived their lives according to the letter of the law, never going beyond it. God does not find that acceptable, nor should we. The second temple was destroyed because of sinat chinam, baseless hatred. Baseless hatred. We see that today. People hating one another simply because they look different, simply because they believe differently than, they, than, than themselves. We must turn this baseless hatred into baseless love, to open our hearts, to act. This is what God demands of us. This is what we must do. In Pirkei Avot, it says, we are not obligated to finish the work. We are not going to single-handedly dismantle oppressive systems, racist systems and education and economy and health care. We cannot do that all by ourselves, and it's not going to happen in a day. But that doesn't mean that we can refrain from the work. We must engage. We must aspire to become anti-racists and to practice anti-racism. Racism. I hope that you will join together with me and your temple family as we engage in study, as we engage each other in difficult conversations, as we engage with each other to make the world better by dismantling the systems of oppression. I invite you to join together with me to practice anti-racism, 
There will be many opportunities in the coming months, starting on August 21st, as Pastor David Kay of, of Another Chance Assembly speaks to us during our Kabbalat Shabbat worship. Take part in our implicit bias training. Together, we can make a difference.